Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for allowing us to come out here to be one big family, God. We ask you to watch over us. We ask you to watch over little Brian. Tonight was just the beginning of people honoring and remembering three-year-old Braylon Noble. More than 100 people gathered for a vigil at the apartment complex. Emma Henderson is live from where that vigil happened tonight. Heartbreaking day, Emma. You got the chance to speak to several people, including Braylon's cousin, who made that vigil happen? That's right, and she said right now their priority is getting justice for him and getting to the truth, finding the answers to the questions that so many have right now. There are actually some still some people behind me hanging around following the vigil. It seemed like the endless flow of people never stopped. More balloons are still on this pool area, and the candles are continuing to be lit throughout the night. Now, neighbors decided to put this vigil together because they wanted to make sure the little boy is remembered. Everyone was asked to bring candles. Some of the people were neighbors, others volunteers, and some have just been following the story since he was first reported missing, and they wanted to pay their respects. What happened here? I don't want to comment too much, but, you know, um, I definitely am prayers for for this little guy and justice for him too. Now coming up at 1030, we are going to have a full report on that vigil and a little bit more about what his cousin and some neighbors had to say following the news today. Reporting live in South Toledo, Emma Henderson for WTOL 11 on Fox 36.